Time to work on the fuel tank. Well, it's that time. Um, time to work on the fuel tank, section 18 of the plans. Um, I had kicked around the idea of maybe uh, taking the old fuel tank that I had worked on and finishing it because I haven't closed the back of it yet before starting on this. Uh, and I've decided to not do that. Um, I think I would fall into the trap of basically doing one wing then the other wing, which is already something that I recommend against. Do it all at the same time. So I'm going to get this one up to the same place where my other fuel tank is before I seal it and then seal this one as well. Um, plus it'll give me a chance to really go through and uh, you know, remember the process, remember everything, make sure that one's done correctly as I'm doing this one, uh, and then go from there. So that's where I'm at. It's time to get started. I've moved everything around. I've got, I've got my uh, fuel tank holder jig over there that I'm going to put the skin in and start working on that. I've moved both the wings over to here. They're both in their own cradle now. Uh, so they're going to be fine. I've got them situated with the innards of the bottoms of the wings facing outward so I can continue to work on uh, stuff inside the wing if and when I need to do that. But that's where we're at. We got uh, a whole bunch of workings to do. But thankfully we have the rest of our lives to do it. <laughs> So what you're watching me do here is run around gathering up parts. I'm gathering up all the parts for the specific chapter within the plans that I'm going to be working on, in this case, the tank. Um, this goes back, to, I think, to what I was talking about a long time ago is organization. Make sure you have everything kind of set aside, maybe organized by chapter, uh, because, well, it'll make your life, you know, a lot easier down the road. It's years down the road sometimes. But that's all I'm doing, running around trying to find all the bits. I'll find all the bits, I'll put them on the table, I'll make sure I have them all, and then I move them aside while I do the work. Hmm, I'm missing my gas cap. Um, both the, the, the male and the female part of the gas cap that goes in this hole. I know I have it here somewhere, but I don't know where. Found it. And it was somewhere. I had forgotten I had, it was still in the, the box that they originally shipped it in. So I saw a comment the other day in one of my threads uh, where someone was basically saying that I'm not an expert. I shouldn't be posting these videos because I could be giving people the wrong information. Uh, I don't have the text in front of me, so I, I'm just kind of paraphrasing. And I, 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 can't, I can't disagree more. Uh, I think that we as a community of, of like-minded individuals who want to build this stuff have to learn from one another's mistakes. Uh, I, I've said all along I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm not here pretending to know more than I do. Uh, I'm puttering in my shop as much as the next guy. And ultimately, if you learn from my screw-up, then I think the community as a whole is better. Um, uh, the last thing I think I should do is wait until I'm an expert, because let's be honest, if, if all of us wait until we're experts at something before we share our knowledge, I don't think we'd ever share knowledge, right? Uh, uh, you know, what, what does that mean to be an expert? How long does that take? That could take your entire career. Whereas uh, if, if I share all the stupid things I do, um, then you uh, have the ability to learn from my stupid mistake and say, ah, I'm not going to do that, right? Um, so I don't agree. I think I, I don't think I'm dumbing down the community by sharing my mistakes or or sharing you know opinions as opposed to expert facts or professional facts. I, I think in the end, I think we're all better even for uh, sharing something that's wrong. Um, and with that, I would encourage you guys to share. I know a lot of you have started your own builds. Uh, you know, I, I keep getting emails from you from time to time saying, hey, here's my new blog or whatever. And, you know, thank you, I'm starting to play, which is awesome. You know, that's fantastic. I, I think you guys uh, rock. Keep keep doing it, you know, and, 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 and share. Share what you're doing. Uh, for me, the hardest part was uh, being willing to share my mistakes and, and kind of open myself up to criticism. Uh, because, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever trolled some of the YouTube comments and other channels, but they can be a little harsh. And so I, I think you have to be a little thick-skinned 
and uh, just know that when you're putting this stuff out there, there are some people that are going to comment negatively, and that's just all there is to it. Um, take those with a grain of salt, right? Uh, if you can't handle that, then you probably shouldn't be on the internet anyways. So anyways, um, to the individual who said that I'm not an expert, you're right. Uh, and that I shouldn't be dis shouldn't be putting this information out there as if I were an expert. I'm not, uh, and that in, in the implication being I shouldn't put this out there at all. Uh, that's your opinion. That's not mine. So other things that I'm doing while I'm out here. I'm not just working on the plane. Um, I'm also trying to learn some new things, and I might start posting some of that on my channel. Uh, I will never charge, or uh, for my patrons, I will never charge you for things that are not directly plane-related. So never feel like you're kind of getting screwed there. Uh, but like uh, I, I have a 3D printer, and so some of the things I'm learning how to do is to do 3D prints so that maybe one of these days that's something that I could, uh, you know, create parts for the inside of the plane, especially around around the dash or things like that. I, I'm, I'm kind of having fun with that. Uh, and ultimately, if I make anything, I will make those uh, STL files available for you. I'm still really in the learning phase of that. I, I'm, I'm printing very basic stuff and things I find on Thingiverse, but uh, so far that's kind of interesting. And I'm also learning about uh, batteries. So uh, learning what you know the voltages are and how to do parallel versus serial, uh, learning what milliamp hours is and all, all those things because I have kind of this interest in making like a DIY power wall um, or some sort of power pack uh, thing that I kind of have my in my brain. Uh, it's a scary place, my brain. But I've got a lot of things going on, so if I do start posting some other videos that are not really plane related, I hope you guys aren't offended by that. Um, just sometimes I like to putter and I like to share. And so these are, these are again, as I said before, this is really for me, not for you guys. So uh, it, I hope you guys won't mind too much. The very first time that you put the skin on the ribs, it's super tight. Um, you're gonna have to lay it down, kind of do one side, and then flip it over and just crank one over to, 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 uh, to, to get the other side started. And it's gonna feel like you're forcing it or kind of bending things a little bit. You're not. Um, just know though it's really, really very tight. Just get those Clicos in however you can, get it bent over so that it is wrapped around the ribs correctly, uh, and then go back through and move Clicos as you need to to kind of even it up. I would say do in the center and go outward uh, on both sides and uh, then go from there. Again, I don't think you can screw this up too badly. Uh, even if you deform a hole a little bit, which is possible, especially like the very first one that you jam on, you're gonna put so much of the stinky goop in here that it's not like, I mean, unless that hole's that big around, you'll be fine. Um, you know, the big thing is you don't want like a dimple or something like that that's dented because it could look bad. But then the other thing to keep in mind is once you dimple these things and then set the rivet, that dimple, that little misalignment or that slight that slight bend that you impart will probably go away so just uh just know that when you first bend these around these ribs it will be a little tight uh the other thing is is around these ribs or especially around the nose of the ribs you want to you want to uh, uh shape those a little bit using your grinding wheel uh, otherwise you can actually impart little dimples at the at the very edge of this piece and the rest of the wing too. So I had an incredibly good question uh, asked by a user today, in fact, uh, regarding the uh, two holes that are in the very end rib of the gas tank. Uh, there are two quarter inch positioning holes that, uh, that I think Vans uses on the raw aluminum to make sure it's in the right place. So when the stamp comes down and make sure, you know, they stamp multiple times to make sure it's in, everything is stamped and the shape of the rib is all correct. Those holes are used to make sure that uh, the rib doesn't move. Well, of course we don't want holes in our gas tank. Uh, and so what I did is I used a couple quarter inch bolts that I just cranked down as tight as possible and put the goop all over it uh, and sealed them. 
And his question, or what he pointed out was, considering that planes vibrate, is that gonna be enough? That's a really good question. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think so. Um, there's, if you look inside the gas tank, there's that goop stuff is everywhere, and there's there's a thousand rivets, uh, you know, in there, and every single one of them has to have that goop over it to seal it. Uh, so this is just a slightly bigger hole with a slightly bigger plug uh, with a slight bit more goop around it to seal it. Is the vibration? Uh, could the vibration possibly cause a leak in one of those? Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it could cause a leak in any part of the tank, in all honesty. I, I hope it's enough, but I, I don't know. I, you, you've asked a really good question, and I don't know the answer to that. Um, because it is just a single bolt uh, on one piece of metal. It's not like two pieces of metal that are maybe have vibration inherent to themselves, you know, moving together that could cause the, the bolt to come off. It's just one piece of metal and a bolt screwed down really tightly on either side. I, I use Loctite as well on that bolt, and I even have written on it, do not remove or never remove or something like that. Um, I'm hoping that's enough. I, I don't know if it is though. If it ever leaks, I'll report back to you guys here and let you know that, hey, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, but I hope it's enough. I don't really want a leaky fuel tank. What do you do? Anyways, guys, that's where I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm sorry this one took so long to come together. Uh, I, I have been working nights and I'm just now getting into the groove of getting back out here and coming out here every other night to do some work. Uh, and it's just, it took a long time to flip my schedule. So sorry, it's going to happen. I'm still interested in the build. I've had a couple pe people ask me if I've died or something. No, I'm still here. Um, so thank you very much for, for all your consideration. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, if you want, if, please hit that like button down there. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you like what I'm doing on this channel. More than anything, if you have any questions or you want to know or just comment or be part of it, comment down below. I promise I'll answer, if not here in a video, at least in the comments down below. If you really want to help me, you can click the link down below and you can subscribe and become one of my patrons. For as little a dollar a month, you guys can help me build this thing. Think about it as buying me a cup of coffee while I build it. It's only a dollar, right? And if, if you really, really want to help me down below in the comments, you'll see my builder's number. If you use my builder number when you buy your Vans kit, yes, you too can build one of these planes. Vans sends me a hundred bucks as a thank you. So thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you next time.